In this video, we're going to be unboxing, setting up, and using the 4 inch slash 5 inch trim saw from High Tech Diamond. And my very first impression of the saw is the size of the box. It's pretty small. This is not going to take up a big footprint, which I'm actually really excited about. Let's open this up. Yeah, it's a nice little apron. Cool. Our manual and the saw, as you can see. Look at this. Look at how compact this is. This is awesome. All right, so we got it on the bench, and it's even more compact than I expected, which is great because if you follow along with other videos that I've done, you know I have a 10 inch lapidary saw. And one of the reasons I wanted a smaller saw is because sometimes the 10 inch saw can be a little bit excessive. So being that I'm already familiar with saws, I'm not going to go through the manual right now. And I do highly recommend if you are a new user of lapidary saws, read your manual, get comfortable with it. I know it can be kind of scary working with the saw, but these blades that come with these, they're continuous blades, right? They're not open tooth. Uh, you do have to be careful. You do have to be safe with this stuff so um, i think what i'm going to do is throw the five inch blade on this to start we'll get everything set up so it's ready for use so we'll take this off here so we can install the five inch blade and it has a little arrow on it as per the way that it's going to turn and if it's like my 10 inch saw it's going to rotate towards me and I'll, i like this a lot right here that's a lot easier for installing new blades compared to my 10 inch uh, with the other one a lot more steps included it's not that much but this is this is pretty it's nice how easy that is easy peasy look at how thin this blade is that is so thin that's amazing the trim saw is ideal for taking slabs like these pieces of porphyry and cutting them into shapes that you can then dop and polish and we're also going to be taking some other things and cutting this so let's get this filled up with water and get it started so now that we have the well filled with water just enough so that as the blade is running it is circulating around the blade keeping the blade cool and the stone cool we'll get the this top put back on here I do have the little spray guard put on as well we'll set this here let's turn it on and we'll do some test cuts with it. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it all the way up to six. So because my porphyry piece is just a little too big to fit in here, I'm gonna take this splash guard off and we can just work it right in through, through it like this. As you can see, we burned through those pieces of porphyry pretty quick. I think to cut these for, it took me about five minutes. And they're ready to be dopped and polished. And yeah, porphyry <laughs> is very, very dirty. Dirty stone. We'll get this cleaned off real quick. Get some fresh water put in it. I got something fun to show you. I have a little bowl of Lake Superior agate nodules that I wanna cut open. And like I said, my 10 inch saw is too big for these, but this five inch blade is gonna be perfect. Let's see what's going on inside these nodules. So, get to cutting.
So we cut up a lot of beautiful Lake Superior agates with our brand new saw. We got this saw all cleaned up. I got the blade taken off and cleaned off so that I can extend the lifetime of that and it's not sitting in dirty water and rusting out. So let me tell you what I think about this four or five inch trim saw. All right, so first thing is the size of the saw. I love how small it is and it fits perfectly on my workbench has a very small footprint. It can sit right next to my dopping station and next to my flat lap. And yeah, it just doesn't take up that much room. So it's nice having a saw inside and I have my big 10 inch outside. So that works out perfectly for me. Next thing is the size of the saw blades. I like that it has the four or five inch option and for doing more trim work, cause this is a trim saw first, doing the trim work with slaps and stuff makes it really easy. And I cut through that porphyry really, really quick. And I cut through a ton of those Lake Superior agates in a very short amount of time. So that was pretty fun. And they cut through really nice. The blade is so thin that you're not wasting a ton of material when you're cutting through it. As for with my 10 inch saw, it has a bit of a thicker blade. So you do cut through a little bit more material, but I really love the blade on this as well. And again, back to the size of it, it's not very big, so it doesn't take that long to clean up. It took me about five minutes to clean the whole thing up and it's ready for use again. Now, as far as cons go for the saw, it did spray water out kind of all over the place, all over me, the floor, my workbench, but that is in the territory of doing lapidary saw work. And I used to have a seven inch tile saw and that was a hundred times worse as far as water spray. So, I mean, really it's not that big of a deal, but the other con that I would probably say is if this is your only saw, you are limited to the size of rocks that you can cut with the five inch blade. Uh, they say to only use two thirds of the height of the blade for what you're cutting. And I mean, you could rotate, I've done that in the past, but it's not recommended. Again, this is a trim saw. It's intended for trimming up your slabs and getting them prepared for polishing. But ultimately, I really do love this unit. I'm happy to have it as part of my lapidary arsenal, and I'm gonna be getting a ton of use out of it in the future. And if you guys are interested in this saw, I'm gonna share the link to it in the description box below. And if you already have this saw or any other saw and you need new saw blades or any other accessories or supplies, use promo code EGADAD to get a 10% discount. And the last thing I wanna mention, if you have any questions that I didn't answer in this video about this saw, or the 10 inch saw or any other high-tech diamond saws, please leave a comment in the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, bye.